In this video, I will introduce you to a field that studies how to manipulate and steer quantum systems to achieve desired outcomes or objectives. Quantum control is based on the idea that quantum systems, such as atoms, molecules, spins, or photons, can be influenced by external fields or devices, such as lasers, magnets, or microwave pulses. These fields or devices can change the state or the dynamics of the quantum system in a controlled way. For example, they can prepare a quantum state with certain properties, such as superposition or entanglement, implement a quantum gate that performs a logical operation, such as NOT or CNOT, perform a quantum measurement that reveals some information, such as the spin or the position of a particle, or protect a quantum system from unwanted noise or decoherence, which are sources of errors and disturbances in quantum systems. Quantum control is not only a theoretical concept, but also a practical tool for many applications in quantum technology. For instance, quantum control is essential for building quantum computers, which use quantum bits or qubits to store and process information. Quantum computers have the potential to solve problems that are intractable for classical computers, such as factoring large numbers, simulating quantum systems, or optimizing complex functions. Quantum control can help initialize the qubits in a standard state, such as 0 or 1, manipulate them with quantum logic gates, which are the building blocks of quantum algorithms, read out their final state, which is the output of the computation, and correct any errors that may occur during the computation, using techniques such as quantum error correction or fault-tolerant quantum computing. Quantum control is also important for quantum sensing and metrology, which use quantum systems to measure physical quantities with high precision and accuracy. Quantum sensing and metrology have applications in fields such as navigation, communication, biology, medicine, or security. Quantum control can help enhance the sensitivity and resolution of these measurements by creating special quantum states, such as entangled states or squeezed states, that are more responsive to the signal of interest. For example, Entangled states are quantum states that have correlations between two or more subsystems that cannot be explained by classical physics. Squeezed states are quantum states that have reduced uncertainty in one observable at the expense of increased uncertainty in another observable. These states can improve the performance of measurements such as interferometry, magnetometry, or spectroscopy. Quantum control is also relevant for quantum simulation and emulation, which use quantum systems to mimic or model other quantum systems that are hard to access or understand. Quantum simulation and emulation have applications in fields such as chemistry, material science, condensed matter physics, or high-energy physics. Quantum control can help create and manipulate the effective Hamiltonian or the dynamical generator of the quantum system under study, and observe its behavior and properties. For example, cold atoms in optical lattices can be used to simulate solid-state systems such as crystals or superconductors. Trapped ions can be used to emulate spin models such as Ising or Heisenberg models. Superconducting circuits can be used to model cosmological phenomena such as inflation or Hawking radiation. Quantum control is a rich and diverse field that draws from various disciplines, such as physics, chemistry, engineering, mathematics, computer science, and optimization. It uses techniques such as feedback control, optimal control, adaptive control, machine learning, and robust control to design and implement effective control strategies for different quantum systems and tasks. Feedback control is a technique that uses measurements of the output of a system to adjust the input of the system in real time. Optimal control is a technique that finds the best input for a system that minimizes a cost function or maximizes a performance criterion. Adaptive control is a technique that adjusts the parameters of a controller based on the changing conditions of the system or the environment. Machine learning is a technique that uses data and algorithms to learn from experience and improve performance. Robust control is a technique that ensures stability and performance of a system in the presence of uncertainties and disturbances. 
Quantum control is an active area of research that faces many challenges and opportunities. Some of the current research topics include finding new ways of controlling complex and large-scale quantum systems, such as quantum networks or quantum annealers, developing novel methods of characterizing and verifying quantum systems and processes, such as tomography or randomized benchmarking, exploring the fundamental limits and trade-offs of quantum control, such as speed limits or precision limits and discovering new applications and phenomena enabled by quantum control, such as quantum metrology beyond the standard quantum limit or quantum thermodynamics. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on quantum physics and technology. See you next time.